finished an amazing class today. Just got inspired by what I think I'm gonna do with the Karen yarn. It's gonna be a nice fitted uh, men's crochet sweater in the round. Hopefully it plays out the way I want it to. So we'll see. I'll show you what I mean right now in a little bit. Now, this is what I'm gonna do, okay? We have a new idea today. The idea for today, theme, is Karen cake in the round. Karen cakes in the round, okay? So welcome to my personal yarn hoarding room. <laughs> do not judge me, okay? Those are half finished products, things that I just need to put together for, or uh, sample, sample design. Um, here's all my yarn stash as neatly as I could have organized it. I want to do one solid cake and then break it apart with one solid color because I also have to make sure I have enough of the same cake to do it. The rainbow sprinkles. Oh my god, I could do a rainbow sweater. I could do a rainbow sweater. So, this is what I think I'm gonna do. I actually do have one more cake of this in the Karen Skinny Cakes line. This is actually called Rainbow. This has about 795 yards and it is a size three. <sighs> Normally I would need about 1200 yards to do a full sweater, sleeves included, or at least three quarter sleeves. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this yarn break it apart with each color with black or white make the lines a little bit thick and i should be able to get a full sweater with just those two colors what do you guys think because i mean rainbow is what roy g biv so red orange yellow blue indigo violet which is technically in there the colors are in there but uh, I brought this out for reference. I actually started doing this. This was in a style, poncho style. So as you can see, the colors play out a little bit weird. Exactly a full Roy G. Biv color way. See, you have red, orange, yellow, blue, and violet. But you see right here, red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, I don't know why it has this. See, this is what I think happened when it tried to uh, combine these two and it created this color. I don't know if purple and blue make green. I don't think that's right. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this color out and use it as trimming. Oh wait, no, it's, see the order is wrong. See, red, orange, yellow, Roy, G, that should be here, and then Biv. What do you guys think? Yeah, see, I think that's wrong. It's not, see, I thought it was going crazy, but no. The green is wrong. Red, orange, red, orange, yellow. Oh, see, it is here. Why is it wrong in that one? I don't know what's going on. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, See, then there's no violet. Wait, so what's going on? That's weird. The colors aren't playing out the way I want it to, but it is called rainbow. <laughs> so that's the thing that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this, break it apart with the black, and then we'll call it the rainbow sweater in the round. What do you guys think? Yeah? All right, let's do it. Okay, first things first, let's put the hair up. Cause it is bothering me. Also, future video, doing a hand dyed yarn sock in the round sweater that's harry potter theme so stay tuned for that rainbow black yarn i'm gonna cut the yarn <gasps> yes cut the yarns every time it's gonna change color from each of these and this is actually called rainbow this is the karen skinny cakes line uh it took me almost two months to be able to find these yarns so i'm gonna use this one every time it color changes i'm gonna add black to it that should make it a little bit more fashion forward. And hopefully, if everything goes right, it should be a pretty dope sweater for Pride. And we're gonna start off with 
like I said, this is 75 neck ring. And then we're going to do probably four rows of this, and then I'm gonna switch into the cake. So I made the executive decision, I'm just gonna break it apart all of it right now, because if I thought about it, if I'm gonna be adding the black to each of the color as it changes, they're gonna be cut anyways. I'm gonna deconstruct the entire cake, and then I'm actually gonna reorganize it so that way the tonal colors is next to the colors appropriate the two big colors, primary colors next to them. Alright, so I'm watching my favorite channel, Bag O' Day. Quick update while I'm doing this. I have this much yarn left, which I'm pretty surprised. I mean, but it has 800 yards in total of the cake. And this is the progress that I am that I have so far. Um, technically goes from here. So this is how it started. That was the first one. And then it went down here. So just read it like that. That's how the cake was breaking down. So as I'm doing this, the idea behind it is, see how there's tonal shifts in between? So this is a blue, green, I mean, um, green, yellow, yellow, green. Then the teal would be blue, green. Then you have yellow, green, blood, orange, orange, and then actually you have like a yellow, orange. So the plan is, as I'm laying this out, these smaller ones are the tonal shifts and these big ones are the actual primary colors. So I'm actually going to combine the tiny tonal shifts ones, for example, that to that. That should equal one of these big balls. So I'm gonna combine them together so that way everything stays nice and even. And even just with this, with what I have, this is plenty for the body. I already can tell that this is gonna be enough to do the entire body once I combine the tonals together to equal the same amount for the big yarns. I actually mixed the blood orange and the orange and then you can kind of see it peeking through. Um, and then the magenta is actually in here. So there should be a magenta in between. So I'm gonna combine them and they should equal the amount, the same amount as this. And then keep in mind how thick this black yarn is in between that with what I have here already is enough for the body. So this is gonna be the final play out of the colors. As you can see, I have a lot of yarn left over. Some of them where it's smaller, that's just how it came in the, in the in the cake. And actually, some of them was actually cut shorter than others. Like that one was, uh, that was a knot when it changed into another color, so that was out of my control. But this is how it's gonna go, see? Roy G. Bib. I can actually get one body out of this. So my idea is, uh, one of these should actually be enough to do one section of the color because two of these should equal one of these. Um, if I have anything extra, that's better because then I can just use that for the sleeves. And if I do run out of the colors, um, I have another second cake already. But the idea is I want to stick with just one cake because I want to honor uh, a one cake project. So that way you guys can replicate it as well. All right, so this is the final, final color shift. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we'll see how this is gonna go. So now that this is done, I can actually start crocheting the rest of the sweater. So let's get to it. So I just realized why I don't use black yarn. It, oh, I can't see the stitches and it hurts my eyes sometimes. But normally I have a rule, I never use black yarn. I don't like using black yarn. It depresses me to use black yarn. Ooh. I'm doing it for you guys. Luckily, it's only four rows, but these four rows took me forever to do. So, okay, it's fine, vent over. Good morning, so it is the next day, about 11 a.m. Uh, I'm just eating breakfast, some chicken sausage hot dogs, and I'm also crocheting at the same time. So here's a little update as how it's coming along. One of the things that I have noticed right off the bat is the what I assumed were certain colors last night are actually turning out to be way different than what they are in um, when it's in front of you. And also, it's, it's, it's coming along. It's not a true, true, true rainbow. 
but that's why we're doing these videos. So you guys can see and make the decision for yourself if this is something you want to do. This is how it's coming along right now in the round. I love the style in the round. The only thing is you have to get the measurements right as you increase because it can get a little foldy. Um, and you have to keep into account your arm circumference, diameter, but it's coming up pretty good. It's a different style. And what I thought was red is actually kind of like a hot pink, red, pink, red, pink, red, hot pink. And then it goes down into the orange and the yellow. So when it's done, it's actually going to be a rainbow, but it's going to be very hmm, neon-y. Not neon-y because the other colors aren't as strong, but we'll see. So this is what it's coming along so far. It looks pretty cool. I like how thick I made the black bands and it's breaking along the color pretty well. I wanted to give you guys an update as I'm working on it. It's literally just half double crochets and I will, at the end of the video, I'll, help, I'll tell you how many rows I increase and stuff like that. You guys can do it as well. Um, I think I kind of messed up because it is getting a little foldy, but I think you can just block that. A quick update. I sealed off the sleeves and I already tried it on twice and um, I need to take away a couple stitches. I'm going for a more fitted look for this one, but if you were to recreate this sweater you essentially have to keep making this as large as the chest is if you need more room in the chest just keep going on the circle until it covers over the entire chest and then you can seal it off but for me i um, kind of want to wear this with some skinny jeans so uh i'm gonna take away a couple stitches and yeah so far so good the colors look really really good as it keeps going so let's keep going Okay, hold on, wait, I need to take a break because I'm um, catching up on my YouTube videos. Shane just uploaded a <laughs> really, really funny video. Um, almost there, I'm in the greens now. Got the blues and the purples, then we're good to go. But first, I need to make some tea while I'm watching this tea from Shane. So, you know what to do. Montage. <laughs> Shane and finishing the sweater. A travesty has occurred. A travesty has occurred. Oh, the worst thing that could happen to someone while doing a project. Guess what it is? I lost to yarn chicken. I lost to yarn chicken by that much. <laughs> oh, so close, but this much, but this much. And I'm upset because I didn't put this in. Had this given me the one row, I would have had plenty to just go on to the next row. But yeah, quick update. Did the greens, did the blues. Love how it's coming out. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's what I love, see, that's the beauty of crochet, you guys. You just never know how it's gonna come out until you keep going and you just get surprised. So this is, I wasn't expecting the rainbow to come out like this at all because of the tonals and it, so far so good. Almost there, guys, look at that. I'm doing the purples now, just have a couple more colors to go. Finishing the dark purple, and then the actual true purple, and then magenta at the end. But yeah, guys, look, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. The more it keeps going, the more it actually looks like a rainbow. So I'm actually quite proud of it. And it is a little bit fitted. I myself have to correct my technique when it comes to in the round because the math just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. If you know what I mean, like when you try and do in the round and you're increasing the round so that way it goes over your um, your shoulders and whatnot. When it goes over your shoulders, you wanna make sure that it's uh, consistent, even. 
And right now, I didn't quite do that. I did it to my body. I did it fitted, which you will see soon. And yeah, so let me just finish the purples and then I'll work on the sleeves and then we're done. You guys ready? You guys are not ready for this. You guys are not ready for this. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. All right, that's just a little preview. I'm gonna do a little model montage for you, but it came out so, so good, so good. <sighs> Guys, this could, so to recap, we took Karen's skinny cakes deconstructed the colors, separated them, and I removed the order of the colors to reflect Roiji Bin, the rainbow. Because originally the colors were not in the order of a rainbow, so I deconstructed it, and this is what and this is my concept that I wanted to make it a little bit more modern, something that I could wear at a party or something, and it would be totally fine. Um, so yeah, let's just get the reveal going. <laughs> So a couple things that I learned in doing this pattern, I most definitely learned to perfect a little bit more my in the round. What I did do though, I overextended, which is where you can kind of see these ruffles. Just talking on the little imperfections, I think it came out really, really well, but I always like to perfect my technique so that way it's nice and clean for a fitted look. Um, it just looks a little bit better when you deliver something that's tailored to someone's size. So I did overdo the extensions here. Really could have, um, I probably overdid it once and then it would have gone a little bit smoother. So when you put your arms down, you're not really getting that many ruffles. Also, I did the mistake of putting the, you can see, I did the mistake of joining the yarns in the back. Normally I do that on the side so that way you can hide the seam. If that does happen, don't worry about it. It's just the little things that a lot of people really don't pay attention to. But if someone's looking at your design from the back, you kind of want to make sure you have it clean. There's one thing I want you all to learn from this experience is do not be afraid to cut your yarn. I know a lot of people are very anti-cutting. I let it flow too, don't get me wrong. I do do my designs, 98% of them, I just let it flow because that's the art, that's the mystery, and that's the surprise of the yarn itself. However, there are certain uh, circumstances there are some certain circumstances where cutting it can give you a better visual representation and outcome of what you are envisioning. And for example, specifically with this yarn, it was not in the order of the rainbow. So I had to cut and deconstruct it. And I kept, as you can see, I kept the tonals going on it. So the tonals there, and then I just let it play. So I did keep it true to heart in the sense of letting it play. As you can see, some of it bled through to the other side, but I kind of like that. It gives it a little bit of a 3D effect of the black rings going around it. So when you see it from far away, it's actually gonna look like the black is over the colors, which I think is really, really cool. This is an optical illusion. And yeah, so don't be afraid to cut your yarn, guys. As long as you, you know, tie a knot and then you crochet it into your stitches, you should be fine and it should stay nice and clean for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial on this rainbow inspired t-shirt reviewing Karen's skinny cakes in the colorway rainbow. Celebrate pride. It's a very easy pattern. It's half double crochet in the round. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, hit that subscribe button. Let's get the subscriber count to 1000 so we can begin to monetize. But also than that, so we can grow our community here uh, with Limon Crochet. And yeah, if you guys have any more ideas, leave a comment down below. If you have any yarn brands or yarn types that you would like to see me design something in, let me know. I'm all about functional, easy to do crochet tutorials. Hopefully I'm inspiring you to do something on your own. And yeah, I think this is a success. All right, so the collar goes one, two, three, and then I increased after every fourth. You can kind of see it right there. So one, two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase, okay? Then after you increase, after the fourth stitch, you go down one, two, just two rows, and then you increase again, but this time after the third stitch. So you don't wanna, you slowly, I usually go on increments of three, so you can kinda see right there, one, two, three, then there's two stitches right there, one, two, three, 
and two stitches right there. I like increments of three because that way you don't rush it. I really don't try to do increments of two because you overdo it. Fifth. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So you really just have to follow that pattern. All of this is half double crochet. So after you increase on the third, one, two, three, go down three, and then increase again. One, two, three, um, and then just keep doing it until you reach your sufficient length. You measure your chest. So for me, I'm about 19, 19 and a half for a comfortable fitted. And then that's how you know how much you need for here. For your arms, if you noticed, I closed it here at the top and I went up. So when in doubt, whenever you're using your arm or making your arm holes, you really want to make sure that this part of the body stays nice and straight on the curve. You don't want to go too far out because then it'll just make your body too bulky. Um, so if you need to make it bigger, make your circle, half circle, bigger. And then you can just go straight down. Um, and the reason why I say that is because it's easier for you to close it going up to compensate for the armhole that you need. Okay. And the armhole here, what I finished it, I decreased after every third stitch to make sure it gets a really nice fitted look on the arms. And so that way the shoulder actually starts to bend downward. And then, yeah, half double crochets. So that's pretty much all I did. All of the blacks are four rows. And these colored ones are five rows. So just keep going and going and going. Nice and simple. And as long as you have the color idea down, you can do this with anything. So if you have different types of purples, you can start with the dark purples and work your way all the way light. Or same thing with green. So this is just one example. And I really like the black because it makes it very um, unisex. Anyone can really wear this shirt. Uh, I'm going to try and do a white version later, but it's going to be a different design. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this pattern.